hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so here we will solve the learning sheet 10 of kalika chetrika from class 9 so without wasting our time let's quickly start with the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new videos so here you can see the question is real numbers and a decimal expansion is given okay and the first one is done for you that is 2 by 15 if you divide 2 by 15 how you are getting but you can see here 2 by 15 they have given and they have solved the question for 1 by 3 so i guess the question is wrong because here you can see the question is repeated two times so the question here is actually 1 divided by 3 okay so if you divide 1 by 3 so 1 will be as it is and you cannot divide it by 3 so what you are going to do is you will take a 0 here after the point you will take a 0 okay so as you put a point here you and a 0 you need to put a 0 with a point in the question part also okay and z 3 3 is a 9 you got so 10 this will be acting as 10 now 10 minus 9 will be 1 again if you put one zero so you will get you will get three threes are again nine again one will be left again zero will be taken and again you will take three threes are nine so you are left with one and it will go on continuing so this type of expansion where you can see 0 0.33333 and it will go on continuing that type of expansion is known as terminating expansion okay this is terminating expansion so let's quickly see the second one so here they have given 7 will be outside the denominator part and this 5 will be inside so you cannot divide 5 by 7 so what you will do you will consider this to be as 50 and you will take 1 0 with a point okay so 7 7 is 49 we are getting okay so 49 we will take so 50 minus 49 is 1 and again one more zero we will take and this will be seven ones are seven so what is remaining three will be remaining and if you put one more zero here seven fours are 28 you are getting okay and two will be remaining again and if you put one more zero here seven twos are 14 okay 7 twos are 14 and 20 minus 14 again 6 will be remaining so this will go on so what answer you got here 0 0.7142 and few more numbers you will be going on getting and that numbers this will be asked asked as non-terminating why this is non-terminating and that one is terminating can you guess it exactly you can see here 0 0.3 is going on repeating so if the sum, some number is repeated it is known as terminating number and the number which is not repeating it is non-terminating number so let me correct my mistake this is also a non-terminating number as it is non-terminating non-terminating means when it is terminating we should get the remainder to be as zero but when we are not getting the remainder as zero and the number will be going on continuing we call it as non-terminating number okay but we have to consider this is a non-terminating and recurring number means the number is repeated okay this is non-terminating but recurring whereas this is non-terminating non-recurring means here the number is not repeating as you can see 7 1 4 2 and again we will get some another numbers so it will be not repeated the same number will not be repeated so this is non-terminating non-recurring whereas this is non-terminating recurring because the same number is being repeated okay let's move on to the next one 2 by 15 is given okay so as usual you cannot divide this if you put a zero here you need to put one zero with a point okay and 15 ones are 15 you got what is remaining 5 is remaining 
and if you take one more zero 15 threes are 45 and again 5 will be remaining okay and you will take one more zero and 15 threes are again 45 again the same number is remaining so now you may get 0 0.133333 so the 3 will be going on repeating so this one is non terminating recurring it means it will be going on repeating okay and the next one is 13 by 4 okay so as usual you cannot divide this so you will take one zero here and zero with a point so 13 threes are 39 you are getting and 40 minus 39 one will be remaining and if you take one more zero here again you cannot divide this because 10 is smaller than the 13 so what we will do we will take one more zero here as you take one more zero you need to add one zero here okay so 13 7 is 91 we are getting so 100 minus 91 is 9 we got and if you put one more zero here we got 90 and we know that 13 sevens are we are having 91 but we have to take again the lowest number that is 13 six are 78 again we will be left with 12 okay so this will go on so here also we got non-terminating non-recurring Okay, because this is not terminating and it is not repeating also. Okay, similarly, next question is 2 by 11. Okay, and you put 0 here and 0 with a point. So, 11 ones are 11. How much is remaining? 9 is remaining. And if you take 90 here, 11 eights are 88. Again, we got 2. So, we are left with here. We came here. So again 20, again 11 ones are 11, again 8 is remaining, sorry 9 is remaining. Again if you take 90, so again 11 8s are 88, again 2 will be remaining. So here 1 8, 1 8, 1 8 is, we are going to get 1 8, 1 8, 1 8 and it is non-terminating recurring. Okay. So, the last one here that is 10 by 3. Okay. 10, sorry, 3, 3 is a 9 we got. Again, 1 is left. Again, the same thing. If you put 1, 0 here, you need to put 1 point. 3, 3 is a 9. Again, 1 is remaining. Again, 1, 0. 3, 3 is a 9. Again, 1 you are remaining. So, this is also non-terminating and non-recurring non-terminating and non-recurring okay so it will go on 3.33333 so on we will get and here also the remaining will be one itself okay so this is non-terminating and non-recurring okay so here the next question is given as express the following in the form of p by q that is terminating decimals we have to express it in the form of p by q so 0 0.7 means they have taken 7 by 10 it means after one decimal point how many numbers are there only one number is there so we have to take one zero lowest number one zero lowest number that is 10 because one zero number will be 10 20 30 40 up to 90 will be one zero number itself but the lowest number will be 10 Similarly here, after a decimal points, we are having two numbers. So, we will take lowest number with 2, 0, that is 100. Lowest number with 1 decimal, that is 10. Okay. Similarly, let us do this. 0 0.8 is given. So, 8 we have to write. And as we are having after a decimal point, we are having only one number. So, we will take 1, 0, lowest number, that is 10. Similarly here, 57 is divided by after point how many numbers two numbers so it will be 100 similarly this will be 23 divided by after this point how many numbers are there one number so it will be divided by 10 
similarly 125 is divided by after a point how many numbers are there three numbers so we have to divide it by thousand here 3.25 325 is divided by 100 here 1058 is divided by 100 because after a point we are having two numbers here also 0478 is divided by 1234 so it is divided by 1000 sorry 10000 here 2.35 235 is divided by 100 okay so the last part of this learning sheet that is they have given expressing the decimal expansion in the form of p by q that is recurring decimals now already the question is given as 0 0.3 with a bar okay it means we have to consider this is x is equals to 0 0.3 3 is recurring it means it is it is repeating so we will take 0 0.33333 so on it is repeating so we'll consider this as equation 1 okay so let us multiply it by 10 why we are multiplying it by 10 because in the question after a point only one decimal number is given so we will multiply with it with 10 so the whole equation is multiplied by 10 if the whole equation is multiplied by 10 we will get 10 into x which is equals to okay after multiplying this equation with 10 you will get 10x which is equals to 10 into this whole number okay after multiplying 10 into 0 0.33333 so on what we are getting 3.33333 and so on we'll get okay so we will consider this as equation 2 now what we will do we will subtract equation 1 in equation 2 that is here we will get 10x correct so this is 10x minus x equation 1 okay see this 10x minus x it was equation 1 which is equals to 3 this whole number will be subtracted by this whole number so if we subtract all this number that is 3.333 so on and 0 0.333 so on what we will get the whole term will be 0 0 0 here and here we will get only 3 so 10x minus x will be 9x 9x is equals to 3 so x is equals to if you bring this 9 to this side it will be divided by 9 so 3 ones are 3 and 3 threes are 9 it is 1 by 3 similarly we will solve this okay that is we will consider this x will be equals to 0 0.6666 and so on because it is terminating okay then multiplying this will be equation 1 this is equation 1 now multiplying this with 10 what we will get 10 into x that is 10x which is equals to 10 into 0 0.666 and so on so we will get 10x is equals to 10 into this when we are doing we are getting 6.66 and so on only one decimal point will be moved here if we multiply it by 10 so we will consider this to be as equation 2 okay as we are considering this as equation 2 now what we have to do we have subtract equation 1 in 2 that is 10x is minus x which is equals to 6.66 so on is subtracted by 0 0.666 and so on so 10x minus x is again 9x which is equals to 6 minus all this will be 0 and we will left with 6. So x is equals to 6 by 9. So 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9. We are getting x will be equals to 2 by 3. Okay our x is equals to 2 by 3 similar here you can see the same number what they have done is they have multiplied by 100 why we have multiplied by 100 because here two numbers are repeating here you can see two numbers are repeating and after a point we are having two numbers so 272727 two, two, is repeating so we have multiplied by 100 after multiplying by 100 we will get 
what we will get here like this 127 into 0.2727 we will get and if we subtract it here we are going to get 1.26 okay if we subtract if we divide this what we are going to get 11 ones are uh, sorry 9 ones are table 9 ones are 9 9 ones are 9 and this is 9 14 so we are going to get okay similar way let us solve this this means x will be equals to 0 0.3434 and it will be repeating okay we will consider this as equation 1 now let us multiply by 100 so 100 x is equals to 100 into 3 sorry 0 0.3434 3, we are getting okay and so on so if we multiply this we are getting 100 x is equals to 343 4 and so on we are getting but where we will move the points as two zeros are here the point will be moved by two times so 34 point 34 point uh, 34 so on we are getting now this is our equation 2 okay now equation 2 minus equation 1 so 100 x minus x which is equals to 34.34 minus 0 0.3434 okay so what we are getting as you can see let me solve here 34.34 is subtracted by 0 0.3434 as you know this point will be below this okay so this will be completely subtracted we'll get 0 0 0 because this is also the repeating number and this is also repeating number so what we are left with we are left with 34 so here 100 minus x is 99 x is equals to 34 okay so x is equals to 34 divided by 99 so if you can cancel this out you can cancel it if it is not possible to cancel this will be the answer itself okay so i hope this learning sheet is uh, clear to you if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me in the comment box so i'll be back with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you